is Mel and I'm part of the support team. Today I'm going to walk you through a tour of the standard account selection pop-up and how you can use it. There are two types of accounts in Papercut. The first one is a personal account, which is the default option to allocate your jobs. The second type of account are what we call shared accounts. A shared account could be a subject name, department, cost center, project name or client matter to name a few. If you are allocating jobs to your personal account, there is no extra user interaction involved. It's just a matter of printing your document and Papercut will automatically track it against your username. If you are allocating jobs to a shared account, there is user interaction involved to select the account you want to use. This account selection fits into a variety of vertical markets. In education, students can allocate jobs to their personal account and staff to their subject or department codes. An example is the sports teacher allocates jobs to the sports shared account. We can set security restrictions to only allow certain users access to particular shared accounts. This will prevent users from allocating jobs to a shared account they shouldn't be using. You only have the visibility to the shared accounts that you are granted access to. In a commercial environment, it's common to use the advanced account station pop-up, which provides more features that we'll cover in another video. First off, we're going to jump into the Papercut Admin Console to make sure my account has the right print account selection. Now I'm going to jump to the Users tab on the left hand side. And now I'm going to scroll down to the print account selection. Currently it's set to automatically charge jobs to my personal account. I'm going to select the drop down and select the show the standard account selection pop up. Once I enable the print account selection, it also reminds me that I need to run the Papercut client as well. Also, there are a few other options here below, so I can still use and allocate my jobs to my personal account. I can select my shared accounts from a list or a with a pin or a code. Once I've done that, I'm going to scroll down and select apply. Now I'm going to print a document to show you the workflow. Here is the account selection pop-up. At the top I can see the job details such as the document name, printer, how many pages and the cost. Just down below you've got the job action so I can select to allocate my job to my personal account, to my shared account or I can allocate to a PIN code. In this example I'm going to select my shared account and I'm going to allocate my job to electronics. And that covers the standard account selection. You can find more information about the account selection in our manual. And also don't forget to check out the advanced account selection pop-up video as well. Mm -hmm.